Welcome to Star Technology 5G. In the last video, we studied how to enable timer zero interrupt function. In today video I will show you how to enable timer one interrupt function. Let's start the video. Please subscribe to the Star Technology 5G and click on the bell icon. Enabling and disabling an interrupt function. All interrupts function are disabled by default, meaning that none will be responded to by the microcontroller if they are activated. The interrupts must be enabled by software in order for the microcontroller to respond to them. The INCON register is responsible for enabling and disabling the interrupts function. Here is INCON register. GIE, Global Interrupt Enable Bit. PEIE, Peripheral Interrupt Enable Bit. TMR0, TMR0 Overflow Interrupt Enable Bit. INT, External Interrupt Enable Bit. RBIE, Port Change Interrupt Enable Bit. TMR0 IF, Timer 0 Overflow Interrupt Flag Bit. INTF, External Interrupt Flag Bit. RBIF, RB Port Change Interrupt Flag Bit. Project, how to enable timer 1 interrupt function. In this project I will show you how you can display 7 segments multiplexing using timer 1 interrupt function. The 7 segments display are connected to port C of a PIC16 F877 microcontroller. Segments A to G of the display are connected to the microcontroller through 190 ohm current limiting resistors and the microcontroller operated from an 8 MHz crystal. Each digit is enabled using a BC108 type transistor connected to pins RD6 and RD7 of the microcontroller. Here is the circuit diagram we are using in our project. It is PIC16 F877 microcontroller. Pin number 1 is master reset. If we press the switch it will reset the microcontroller. Port C is interfaced with 7 segment display and we are using common anode type 7 segment display. All segments are connected with microcontroller through a current limiting resistor and the value of the resistors is 190 ohm and pin RD6 and RD7 are connected with common pins of 7 segments display through BC108 transistors. The value of the resistor is 1 kilo ohm. Pin numbers 13 and 14 are the interface with an 8 MHz crystal and 22 PF capacitors are connected with the crystal. Pin number 11 and 32 are connected with positive 5 volts. Pin number 12 and 31 are connected with ground volt. Let draw this circuit in Proteus.
The circuit is ready now we will write its code in micro CPIC. Here is the window where we can write the code. I already wrote the code otherwise video gets very long. I will copy the code. And I will pass it here. Now I will define you the code. Hashtag define display port C. Define port C as display. S bit. This one at port D. B6. Define RD6 pin as this one. S bit. This 2 at port D. B7. Define RD7 pin as this 2. Unsigned char code. This line define data type char. Array named code and it has total 10 elements. 0x79, 0x24, 0x30, 0x19, 0x12, 0x02, 0x78, 0x00, 0x10, and 0x40. Unsigned char. Deck. Dig. Del. Define variables. Void ms delay. Unsigned char time. Delay function with variable name time. Unsigned char y, z. Define variable named y and z. 4. y equals 0 y less than time and increment y for loop for delay 4 z equals 0 z less than 254 and increment z for loop for delay void interrupt function that is interrupt function for deck equals 0 deck less than 10 and increment the deck we use this for loop for display decimal number for dig equals 0, dig less than 10, and increment the dig. We use this for loop for display digit number. For del equals 0, del less than 5, and increment the del. We use this for loop for creating delay between next digits. This one equals 1. Turn on display 1. Display equals code. Deck. This line find code from array and send that data to display. The initial value of deck is 0. MS delay 20. Call delay. This delay decide how long we want to turn on the display 1. This 1 equals 0. And turn off display 1. This 2 equals 1. Turn on display 2. Display equals code. Dig. This line find code from array and send that data to display. The initial value of dig is 0. MS delay 20. Call delay. This delay decide how long we want to turn on the display 2. This 2 equals 0. Turn off display 2. First we display decimal number second we will display digit number. This process repeat again and again so the eye cannot tell that the digits are not on all the time. After that, PIR1.TMR1IF equals 0. Clear interrupt function flag. This flag must be clear in software. Otherwise microcontroller generate another interrupt function. TMR1H equals 0x80. Load initial value in higher register. TMR1L equals 0x00. Load initial value in lower register. Void main. Main function. Main code start from here. TRISC equals 0x00. Define port C as output port. TRISD.TRISD6 equals 0. Define RD6 as output pin. TRISD.TRISD7 equals 0. Define RD7 as output pin. 
This one equals zero. Turn off display one. This two equals zero. Turn off display two. T1 con equals one. Timer one on. PIE one dot TMR one IE equals one. Enable timer one interrupt function. Int con equals zero XC zero. Enable global interrupt and peripheral interrupt function. While one. Stay here. Now we will create the hex file. Just click on the build icon. Finished successfully. File is created now we will load hex file into the microcontroller. Double click on the microcontroller. Select the hex file. OK. And click on the run simulation. You can see microcontroller stay here doing nothing but it still responded to interrupt function and perform multiplexing on 7 segment display. If you have any problem with the code let me know in comments. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the Star Technology 5G. And. Keep watching Star Technology 5G.